So hello, this is probably going to be one of the weirdest videos I've made, uh, but it's for a request that somebody made uh, about the differences between the LCD screens on the different models. He thinks that maybe his 6500 is broken, or there's something weird with his, because his screen is very dim. Now we know that the quality of the A6000 line is not uh, LCDs are not perfect, so uh, that's not a discussion. I just wanted to show the difference. So we have all three models here. Uh, so the 6500 here, the 6300 over here, and the 66000 over here. So the audio and the video may be quite bad because I'm recording this with my iPad. I needed to figure out how to make a somewhat fair comparison. I haven't even checked it myself, so this is the first time we are seeing. I put all three of them on in, in picture mode and some white behind it so that you get some something uh, uh, on the screen, of course. Um, and uh, I first put them all on uh, the brightness on normal, not so not sunny, which is a setting, which we will uh, tune later. Um, and uh, so it's just the normal mode in picture mode. So here we go. Let's turn them on and see what happens. So um, here you see the differences. Um, so I don't see a huge difference. It might be just because of the, the things that they are seeing in front of the lens, right? So I could flip them over. But in my gut feeling, the A6000 and the A6300, so the A6500 and the 3000 are the same. But let's flip them around a bit. So let's flip this one to here. Um, and of course, they are kind of probably having different, uh, different sort of uh, settings going on. Uh, so they are not totally the same. They have different lenses on it and stuff like that. But I hope you can kind of see the differences or the not differences here. So they are all three are now are on normal mode, not uh, their brightness uh, pulled up. So I will uh, pause this video and probably make a few. The next thing that I will do is go put them all in bright and then we will see what happens there. So second part, I have now put them all three on, uh, on the brightest mode, but not on sunny mode, right? So let's see here how they kind of compare so again i'm not sure if this is a perfect way of testing it but i don't know a better way at least it will provide uh, some information here uh, to my eye it kind of looks the same also when looking at the, the different uh, screens i don't have a gut feeling that one of them is much brighter than the other let me also put this one kind of on a similar mode I would argue they are kind of the same again. So this is not on sunny mode. So now all three we are going to put on sunny mode, uh, which is a special mode for outside. And then we get to the, uh, I would say more interesting area, because I think one of the complaints of course, is once you go to 4K recording, then um, the 4K one, so the 6500 and 6300 will uh, automatically turn their uh, sunny mode off, if that makes sense, right? So actually also come, uh, now think about that there's an interesting uh, question there uh, what happens if you turn them uh, uh, manually high but not in sunny mode so first let me put them in sunny mode so here we are again they are now all three in a sunny uh, uh, bright uh, mode um, again you can see yourself on the video but i'm checking myself just by eye i would say that all three of them are the same i would actually say that my gut feeling is that the 6500 is a little bit brighter. So let me flip them around. No, I think they are about the same. It was just the position of the of the camera or the lens or uh, the combination. But I would say they are. Well, you can judge yourself, but I would say they are kind of uh, similar. So uh, now let's put them in video mode and then go from, uh, so uh, of course only two of them will do 4K and I will put uh, them first in standby and then record and we can see what happens there. So here we go again, let's turn them on. They should all go to standby, oh, sorry about that, here we go. Now, um, what you are seeing on the screen, at least I'm clearly seeing it, 
is that the the A6000 is uh, way brighter of course um, I'm not sure what the iPad is now doing and if you can really see it but uh, the question was how is the difference between these two um, is there really a, a massive amount of difference so they are not on record mode of course so let's put them on record mode um, and see what happens so they should stay the same but because they are not in 4k right so I will show an interesting test later than uh, this when we go from picture mode to but you can see there all three are now recording and um, yeah the let me focus a little bit and you can see that um, yeah clearly the, the 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 two 4k ones are not staying in sunny mode because that's the point right so this one is in sunny mode this one is not right these are, are now falling back to their normal uh, mode and you can't in the menu also change it anymore so uh, last thing I want to show you what happens if you and I can do that live if you uh, move to picture mode so I stop the recording hopefully hold on so and what I will do is go in picture mode so or, or just uh, <laughs> in a uh, aperture priority mode and now you can see the difference between the two uh, 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 cameras right so this one is much brighter than this one right but the moment that i hit record you will see that it automatically goes back into the same sort of mode right so if i stop it you'll see that it goes back to picture mode and it becomes bright again and if i record it it will go darker again so uh yeah well that's it um again i will flip them around just to see you show in recording mode how, how similar or not similar they are um, but my gut feeling there should be about the same on the a6300 and the a6500 uh, if you are talking about uh, brightness so let me maybe do it like this not sure if that now the bottom one looks a little bit brighter which is the 6300 i find it difficult to judge to be fair mm. so this is the 6500 at the bottom and uh, sorry at the top and the 6300 at the bottom so both now in this what we would call dim sort of mode right so if we go totally weird if i do it like this now we have all three of them stacked you can see the difference between them kind of aiming at the same point a uh, different lenses of course so not a really total com uh, real comparison but you can sort of see um, yeah what's happening so thank you hopefully it will help somebody i found uh, that there's no noticeable difference between the 80 60 uh, 6300 and the 6500 given the fact that um of the touch screen there might be a slight difference in angles or something difficult to judge uh, but it's clearly not the, the the brightest and the best monitor that's why we are using external monitors to begin with right so um, yeah that's what it is thank you